Aristotle, was an ancient Greek philosopher and polymath. His writings cover a broad range of subjects spanning the natural sciences, philosophy, linguistics, economics, politics, psychology, and the arts. As the founder of the Peripatetic School of Philosophy in the Lyceum in Athens, he began the wider Aristotelian tradition that followed, which set the groundwork for the development of modern science. Little is known about Aristotle's life. He was born in the city of Stagira in northern Greece during the Classical period. His father, Nicomachus, died when Aristotle was a child, and he was brought up by a guardian. At 17 or 18, he joined Plato's Academy in Athens, and remained there till the age of 37. Shortly after Plato died, Aristotle left Athens and, at the request of Philip II of Macedon, tutored his son Alexander the Great beginning in 343 BC. He established a library in the Lyceum, which helped him to produce many of his hundreds of books on papyrus scrolls. Although Aristotle wrote many elegant treatises and dialogues for publication, only around a third of his original output has survived, none of it intended for publication. Aristotle provided a complex synthesis of the various philosophies existing before him. His teachings and methods of inquiry have had a significant global impact, and as a result, his philosophy has exerted an influence across the world, and it continues to be a subject of contemporary philosophical discussion. Aristotle's views profoundly shaped medieval scholarship. The influence of his physical science extended from late antiquity and the early Middle Ages into the Renaissance, and was not replaced systematically until the Enlightenment. And theories such as classical mechanics were developed. Some of Aristotle's zoological observations found in his biology, such as on the reproductive arm of the octopus, were disbelieved until the 19th century. He influenced Judeo-Islamic philosophies during the Middle Ages, as well as Christian theology, especially the Neoplatonism of the early church and the scholastic tradition of the Catholic Church. Aristotle was revered among medieval Muslim scholars as the first teacher, and among medieval Christians like Thomas Aquinas as simply the philosopher. While the poet Dante called him the master of those who know, his works contain the earliest known formal study of logic, and were studied by medieval scholars such as Peter Abelard and Jean Buridan. Aristotle's influence on logic continued well into the 19th century. In addition, his ethics, though always influential, gained renewed interest with the modern advent of virtue ethics. In general, the details of Aristotle's life are not well established. The biographies written in ancient times are often speculative, and historians only agree on a few salient points. Aristotle was born in 384 BC in Stagira, Chalcidus, about 55 kilometers east of modern-day Thessaloniki. His father, Nicomachus, was the personal physician to King Amyntas of Macedon. While he was young, Aristotle learned about biology and medical information, which was taught by his father. Both of Aristotle's parents died when he was about 13, and Proxenus of Atarnius became his guardian. Although little information about Aristotle's childhood has survived, he probably spent some time within the Macedonian palace, making his first connections with the Macedonian monarchy. At the age of 17 or 18, Aristotle moved to Athens to continue his education at Plato's Academy. He probably experienced the Eleusinian Mysteries, as he wrote when describing the sights one viewed at the Eleusinian Mysteries. To experience is to learn. Aristotle remained in Athens for nearly 20 years before leaving in 348-47 BC. The traditional story about his departure records that he was disappointed with the academy's direction after control passed to Plato's nephew Spusippus, although it is possible that he feared the anti-Macedonian sentiments in Athens at that time and left before Plato died. Aristotle then accompanied Xenocrates to the court of his friend Hermias of Atarnius in Asia Minor. After the death of Hermias, Aristotle traveled with his pupil Theophrastus to the island of Lesbos, where together they researched the botany and zoology of the island and its sheltered lagoon. While in Lesbos, Aristotle married Pythias, either Hermias's adoptive daughter or niece. They had a daughter, whom they also named Pythias. 
In 343 BC, Aristotle was invited by Philip II of Macedon to become the tutor to his son Alexander. Aristotle was appointed as the head of the Royal Academy of Macedon. During Aristotle's time in the Macedonian court, he gave lessons not only to Alexander but also to two other future kings, Ptolemy and Cassander. Aristotle encouraged Alexander toward Eastern conquest, and Aristotle's attitude toward Persia was unabashedly ethnocentric. In one famous example, he counsels Alexander to be a leader to the Greeks and a despot to the barbarians, to look after the former as after friends and relatives, and to deal with the latter as with beasts or plants. By 335 BC, Aristotle had returned to Athens, establishing his own school there known as the Lyceum. Aristotle conducted courses at the school for the next 12 years. While in Athens, his wife Pythias died, and Aristotle became involved with her Pilus of Stagira. They had a son whom Aristotle named after his father, Nicomachus. This period in Athens between 335 and 323 BC, is when Aristotle is believed to have composed many of his works. He wrote many dialogues, of which only fragments have survived. Those works that have survived are in treatise form, and were not, for the most part, intended for widespread publication. They are generally thought to be lecture aids for his students. His most important treatises include Physics, Metaphysics, Nicomachean Ethics, Politics, On the Soul, and Poetics. Aristotle studied and made significant contributions to Logic, Metaphysics, Mathematics, Physics, Biology, Botany, Ethics, Politics, Agriculture, Medicine, Dance, and Theater. Near the end of his life, Alexander and Aristotle became estranged over Alexander's relationship with Persia and Persians. A widespread tradition in antiquity suspected Aristotle of playing a role in Alexander's death. But the only evidence of this is an unlikely claim, made some six years after the death. Following Alexander's death, anti-Macedonian sentiment in Athens was rekindled. In 322 BC, Demophilus and Eurymedon the Hierophant reportedly denounced Aristotle for impiety, prompting him to flee to his mother's family estate in Chalcis on Euboea, at which occasion he was said to have stated, I will not allow the Athenians to sin twice against philosophy, a reference to Athens's trial and execution of Socrates. He died in Chalcis, Euboea of natural causes later that same year, having named his student Antipater as his chief executor and leaving a will in which he asked to be buried next to his wife. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Hope is a waking dream. No great mind has ever existed without a touch of madness. A friend to all is a friend to none.